All right, welcome to class. Um, so a couple of things before we get started. I just told Bob and Masako that in two weeks um, is when I'm coming back from Berlin. So I've moved the class to Tuesday. Ken, I think I've mentioned that to you, but just so that you know. Um, what else? Oh, I'm talking with Thomas this afternoon about a different <coughs> platform. So Bob, you remember the platform that we used to use of the big blue button? Uh, the the Entanga from before, like way way before, and I had the camera like down here and the list of people, yes, and the whiteboard yes. in the middle. Yes, yes. I think we're going back to that because awesome. Ken told me about some changes, right? Ken with the system with Google Hangouts. I don't know. The Google says Google Plus ended in April third. Yeah. So uh, probably Google Hangout will be closed. At, at the same time, I, but I'm not sure. I just know that Google Plus and uh, April 3rd. Okay, so that's kind of the situation and that's what um, Thomas and I are gonna be talking about later today is using that other platform, okay? So classes will continue is we're just gonna be using a different platform, okay? And I'm guessing it's the same idea. Uh, well, I, I guess I won't have to send the link on Facebook anymore because it's always going to be the same website. It's kind of its own little virtual classroom. And it sounds like we'll be able to use YouTube videos and podcasts, so pretty dynamic, a lot different than what we're doing now. So I'm very interested in talking to Thomas later today. Actually, in like three hours, we'll be talking about it. <laughs> so um, we'll see what happens. And once I know, maybe Wednesday, I'll have more information, okay? So that's kind of all of the changes for now. Um, and he said it probably would start in April because of those changes with Google Plus. Okay. So if you have questions, let me know. <laughs> so so far, I know nothing. Okay. That, that's apart the from... old platform we used before. Yeah. Okay. I know you didn't like that as much, did you? <laughs> yeah, Google Hangout is better, but. Uh... Mm, anyway, <laughs> I know if they're going to close what we don't really you know there's only a certain a number of options that we have to, to have right. group classes and things and and so we'll see what happens okay hopefully I'll have more information on Wednesday if not I'm sure next week okay okay perfect all right so welcome to class today we are going to be talking about travel as we were talking about before I actually started recording um, and that's it, so it's a reading activity. It's using some vocabulary that we looked at probably a couple months ago now. I can't remember exactly. Um, but if you give me one moment, I will bring up the document. So, here it is. The computer's a little slow. I think I need to clean the computer as always. Okay, all right, good. So you can see this now. Um, so there are some words in here that we saw before. There's new words in here. We haven't looked at this um, text before. Can everyone see it okay? Because I can make it a little bit bigger, like this. Yes. This one's this, better probably because yeah. it's bigger, right? Yeah. Yes, because I'm using portable computer now, so. Ah, okay. Well, let me see if I do one more bigger. No. No, then I have to move, so. Uh, it's okay, yeah, we'll I can read it, yes. All right, so I think we'll, we'll stay here for now. I think we're just going to read a little part and talk about it because this has, like I said, different words and things um, that we should talk about. So um, Masako, as you got here first, would you read just this first little part, okay? Okay, I'm a travel writer and as a part of my job, I get to do little experience, no, experiments, and afterwards write stories about them. They then get uh, published in a travel magazine for a modern day tourist. All right, well, very good. Thank you for reading. So I have a couple of questions. What is this word, afterwards? We normally don't see this. So do you understand the context or do you, do you understand what it means? Any, anybody can answer, not just 
well. Just mm. anybody. Are uh, you asking about the definition of words? Well, just what after with me. Life summarize. Kind of, yeah. I mean, can you understand if you read this text, what do you understand that afterwards means? Yes. What writer want to say with this story? So afterwards, have we seen the word afterwards before? Yes, I see afterwards. Okay, do you know what it means? Uh, like, um, um, like s s s summarize, um, like, um, uh, um, well, I'm, I'm gonna fill the beans. Have you heard of that? Before I'm spill the beans, hold on. Spill the beans means I'm going to tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, this means after. So it, that's it. It's just it's the word after. However, we have after words, and a, a lot of native speakers will use afterward or afterwards with or without the s. Um, there's really no difference. One time I heard that I think afterwards with the S is more American. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily agree or disagree with that statement <laughs> because I'm a native speaker and I say both, okay? Um, so that's all it is. So first they do, the writer does experiments and then after the writer will write stories. Okay, so that's the, the general concept of, well, the first, Part and then um, the stories get published in a travel magazine. Okay, does everyone understand? Yes. Okay. Do we have any questions? No. Oh, no, from me. Okay. Nothing so far. All right, Bob. Are you ready to read the next part? Yes, I'm ready. All right. There you go. My uh, last piece was about two city breaks. I had booked and thought it would be interesting to write a compare, comparison piece. Uh, I made sure the budget was the same and my idea was to have a parallel experience yet find contrast. I found far more than I thought I ever would. All right, so we have some interesting uh, words in here, and so I'll just start with this one. My last piece, what do they want to say by piece? What's a synonym for this word? Good question. Okay, by the context, it says my last piece was about two city breaks. Any idea what piece could mean? It's an item or article. Exactly. It's a it's a synonym for article in this in this um, context because they're talking about writing stories, so stories and articles, something like that. Okay. So when you write something, you can call it a piece. All right. I don't know if it's because it's a piece of work, a piece of type of artwork or something. Okay. But that's what this refers to. So the last story was about two city breaks. What about breaks in this case? Maybe holidays? Exactly. A break is like a little, you know, rest or vacation, holiday, something like that in this case. Then we have this word booked. I had booked. So it's actually a verb in this context. What do you think booked means reservation exactly so i had booked or i had reserved is perfect thought it would be interesting a comparison piece so uh, another article or story about comparing the two places 
Okay, I made sure the budget. What's a budget? Cost. The cost I can pay for something. Exactly. It's normally a budget is about how much money you are willing or you want to spend on something. A lot of people will budget their monthly expenses. So when they get their paycheck, they can say, okay, this much is for paying the house. This much is for the electricity bill. This is for the water bill, okay? Things like that. So then at the end of the month, they know how much money they'll have in, for the future, okay? Let's see, it says that, um, so the budget was the same, and the idea was to have a parallel experience. A parallel experience is just something that is the same. Try to do the same in both places, okay? So that you can really compare both places very well in this case. And then it says, yet find contrasts. What are contrasts in this context? Difference. Okay, good differences, uh, opposites. Yes, things that are not the same, okay? And then it says, I found far more than I ever thought I would. Far more. What are they referring to here? I found far more, far more than I ever thought I would. Uh, more than I expected. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is, there were a lot more differences than expected. Okay. Fantastic. Any other questions before we continue? No. All right. So, Ken, that means you're next, and you can read the third part, okay? Okay. The first destination was Rome, Italy, and just a week later. The second one was Amsterdam, Holland. Of course, uh, they, are uh, they are going to be far more than just a few differences with two districts. Uh, distinct places such as these but what I thought I could write about and as how much I could get for my hard-earned money uh, in both of these places okay so very good um, what about questions from you let's start with questions that you mm -hmm. might have okay mm -hmm. Anything oh. that you want to talk about? Go first. Mm. No. Thank you. Okay. Bob or Masako, do you have any questions? Distinct. Distinct. Okay. What does the word distinct mean? Anyone else? Special or has such meaning or different yep. from other things exactly mm -hmm. different because they have different things um distinct to different places other places good what about hard earned money hard earned is the adjective money is the noun what is hard earned money <laughs> hard work for exactly. the money Exactly. So you worked very hard and that you earned the money. This earn is also a verb to make money, earn money, okay, when you work. So very good. So the two places are Rome and then Amsterdam. And that's it. So the expectations were not a lot of differences. So there are going to be far more than just a few differences. Or there will be a lot more differences, okay? Um, let's see. I think that's it. I don't think... Anything else needs to be talked about. So, Masako, can you read the next part, please? This bigger part. Okay, let me try. First of all, finding cheap a flight was slightly more difficult for Roma. I managed to get my hands on a cheap return ticket to Amsterdam for less than 100 euros. Although the flight journey time for both these nations was just about the same for me. I had to stop over in London before reaching Roma, which added an extra three hours 
Needless to say, I was pretty tired when I got there. On the other hand, when I arrived in Amsterdam, I left my box in the hotel and went out straight away. Okay. Well, really, really good. So it's a little difficult to understand where this person is coming from. Um, that's a negative thing because I'm pretty sure an American wrote this, but it was intended for class. So maybe they're thinking somewhere in, in England they came from. I don't know. Because if you have a um, return ticket to Amsterdam for less than 100 euros, you're probably based in Europe somewhere. <laughs> Okay, you're not going to find that coming from the United States. I can guarantee that. Okay, so let me search for some words to ask you. Okay, slightly, for example. Slightly more difficult. What is slightly? Slightly means a little or uh, how should I say? Well, a little a more. A bit, yeah. <laughs> exactly, a bit, a little, yes. So it was yeah. a little more difficult for Rome, okay? I managed to get my hands on. What is get my hands on something? Maybe in this context, buy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got my hands on a cheap trip to some place means that you uh, came in contact with you got you bought for example okay um a return ticket is british english in american english we would say round trip ticket okay mm -hmm. so that's one uh, kind of a different thing journey of course i want to talk about the word journey what is the journey when you're talking about a trip Like few trips, uh, mm -hmm. more, more trip. No, you, not exactly. Flight journey. Okay. Yes. So a journey literally is your destination from point A to point B. Okay. Then while you're in point B, which is your destination, you have your trip. That's where your trip took place. Place. Then you have another journey from point B to point A again to go back home. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. There's some difficult words in English. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Stop over. I had to stop over in London. What is that? Transit. Uh, yes, transit. I'm... Okay. There's another word that I typically use. That is not stopover. It's actually layover. L A Y over. Layover. And that means you have a stop in, you, you have a connecting flight, basically, <laughs> to say that easier. Okay. Um, which add an extra three hours. Needless to say, what, what does this phrase mean? Needless to say. Of course. No need to mention. Oh, very good. Thank you. Okay, there, this person was pretty tired. Pretty tired. What is pretty tired? Very tired. Exactly. Pretty is a synonym for very, really quite in this case. Okay. Um, let's see. On the other hand, when I arrived, so on the other hand is the opposite, the contrary. Uh, when I arrived in Amsterdam, I left my bags in the hotel and went straight out. What are bags in this case? There's, we have a couple different words. Do you know what they are? Luggage. Yeah, that's one. Suitcase. Suitcase, yes. <laughs> baggage. Ah, that's it. Luggage, suitcase, and baggage. Fantastic. Wonderful. And then went out straight away. What is went out straight away? Direct. Okay, that so straight away would be direct and went out is to leave the hotel. So this person left the hotel as soon as they arrived there. Okay. So very good. 
This is perfect. All right, Bob, it looks like your turn is next. Can you see until the end here? Yes. Okay, great. The hotels were both uh, categories, categorized as three star and I paid just as much for both. Uh, however, the difference in standards was surprising. Uh, the Roman hotel wasn't as nice as the one in Amsterdam. Maybe it was location, I'm not sure, but I tried to get as uh, central as possible in both destinations. The staff uh, were much friendlier in Amsterdam too. Quite honestly, the Roman three-star hotel was below average stay and I will go back. All right. Well, thank you for reading that. I just wanted to mention there is a mistake here. This R should be capitalized as it is here, okay, because it's an adjective and it's representing, well, a nationality. So that way we will always use it in a capital letter, okay? Okay. All right. So do, 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 do. what about questions from, from you three? Do you have any questions or anything? Or I can ask questions. All right, what about this phrase? This is, I paid just as much for both. How else can you say this? Same price. Exactly, same both price. hotels mm -hmm, cost the same. Very good. Um, however, the difference in standards was surprisingly not good then. Um, so the Roman hotel, the hotel in Rome, wasn't as nice as the one in Amsterdam. That's fine. Um, it could have been location. Um, but I tried to get as central as possible. What is this? I tried to get as central as possible. So it's uh, about the location. Uh, this, uh, this person want to uh, stay uh, book the hotel in the central of Roma. Exactly. Yeah, well, and, and in Amsterdam as well. Mm -hmm. What about the staff? It's, the staff were much friendlier. It's a hotel's staff, hotel's employee. Employees, yes, at the hotel, yeah. thank you. And friendlier. A very open-minded and very gentle. Okay, they were nicer, yeah, more open and, oh, hey, hi, how are you, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then quite honestly. To tell the truth. Oh, thank you. Very good. Uh, the room in three star hotel was below average, was a below average stay. What does this mean, a below average stay? Uh, not so good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not as good as it should have been for the hotel being three stars. Yes. All right. Well, very good. I think we'll move on to the next page here. Okay. Um. Let's see. Bob, you read the last one. So, Ken, it's your turn to read this little part. Okay. Okay. The first meal I had in Rome was uh, delicious, but cost a pretty penny. The first meal I had in Amsterdam was average, but I definitely got more for money. The the portion size were far bigger. I'm not sure which I prefer. Okay, very good. So now food. Okay, so now we're out looking for food. Costs a pretty penny. Hmm. What does that mean? It cost uh, maybe costly. Costly, yes, it was expensive. Mm. Yeah, that's an expression we have, cost a pretty penny. Um, let's see, so the, the first meal in Amsterdam was average, so normal, it was fine, um, but got more for my money, got more for my money. What does that mean? I got more for my money. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 for me, maybe raw was costly, the, the food cost was maybe, but uh, I don't know. I confuse. Got more okay. for money. <laughs> That's okay. Anyone else want to try and answer, or should I just 
spilled beans again. More than budget of money. Mm, no, uh, exactly. I, I think I got it. What? Maybe cheaper. Cheaper because it's good for my wallet. So it means cheaper than Rome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we're doing well. Masako, do you want to say anything? Mm, in Amsterdam was average, well, different. So the in comparison with uh, Roma and Amsterdam, Amsterdam's or uh, how say is worse. Mm. I don't know, uh, better than Roma, and this person could get more portion or more variable food than in Roma, like. Mm. Okay, similar. What this really means is they got more quantity of food for the money. So um, the it's food in Rome was expensive. I got more than I paid. Well, I mean, probably, I mean, they probably received more food than expected because um, if they went to Rome first and they thought, wow, this place is expensive, then a week later they go to Amsterdam and they got more for their money is just like maybe they paid um, a similar amount, but the amount of food was a lot more in Amsterdam. Okay, so maybe in Rome they got uh, pasta and dessert, but there wasn't a lot of pasta, for example. So it's speaking of the volume of the food. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I got more for my money. It's... Um, there's a lot of different expressions we have in English to to say that like I, I stretched the, my dollar, you know, a dollar is worth one dollar. But if you find a, a deal or a bargain or an offer or something on sale, you can buy more for the same price. And so that's kind of what they're talking about here. OK, it says the portion sizes were far bigger in Amsterdam. OK, um, but if you look at it, the food in Rome was more expensive but delicious. The food in Amsterdam, you had more quality, but the, or, I'm sorry, the more quantity, but the taste wasn't, it, it was fine. So, what, you know, how do you compare these two? Because if something's amazing and expensive <laughs> compared to something that's a, a fair price and okay, <laughs> mm, that's what they're talking about here. So I'm not sure which I prefer. They're not sure which one was really better because they both kind of had their ups and downs, the good things and bad things. Good? Questions? Nothing so far. All right. So Masako, it's your turn to read again. Okay, you can read the next part. I found out that the average price for nice coffee in Central Roma is definitely much cheaper cheaper than in Amsterdam. And I really do like Italian coffee. That was at least one thing I liked more. That and the uh, weather, uh, weather of course. I spent my three days freezing cold in Amsterdam, but then again, I did go in October. Where uh, in Loma, it was very pleasant and sunny every day. Okay, good. So now we're talking about food and, well, kind of coffee and weather, right? So um, average price for coffee in central Rome is cheaper than in Amsterdam. I'm quite surprised by that. I've heard Rome is very expensive. I've never been there, but I've been to Amsterdam. So that's interesting. Uh, one thing I liked more... It was colder in Amsterdam, but it was in October. And whereas, okay, so whereas is is probably new, right? Do either do any of you know what this means? Yes. What does it mean? On the other hand. On the other hand, yes. That's fine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so it was cold um, in Amsterdam and nice and sunny in Rome. Okay. All right. Good. And if there's no more questions, Bob, would you read this last paragraph for us? Oh, yes. All right. In general, my experience in both places was nice except for the hotel staff. On the second day in Roma, I asked for some bottled water for my fridge, 
which the cleaners hadn't filled, filled back up. And I was told that they weren't getting a delivery until the next day. How could anyone run out of bottled water? What made it even worse was that no one offered to get me any. I'm not one to make noise, but I had to complain about that. Okay. So I'm... What about questions in this part? It seems to me relatively simple, but any questions about vocabulary or phrases? Mm, just a second. Okay, take your time. Uh, or anyone else? Uh, hadn't filled the back. Okay, yes. The cleaners hadn't filled back up. Back up, all of the filled back up goes together. Okay, so, um, Kana Masaku, do you have any ideas of what this phrase could mean? The cleaners. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead. Oh, I, 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 I don't get it. So. <laughs> okay. So, cleaners, cleaners. Uh, maybe neglect their job. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's basically it. That the cleaners didn't refill or put more water in the fridge. In the fridge. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Let's see. And and they weren't going to have a delivery <laughs> until the next day. So the, the hotel wasn't going to receive any um water to bring the water to your room exactly so so, so the person is so the and, and they didn't offer to go to the supermarket or grocery store or any place to go buy water either so that was one thing that was this person was bothered by that. Okay, so we have one more phrase. I'm not one to make a noise. What does this phrase mean? Maybe I'm yeah. not uh, the person who complains a lot. Exactly. I'm not one to make a noise. Someone who makes a noise complains a lot. Someone who doesn't, doesn't complain. Um, but this person did complain. It's, it's, I mean, water is super important. And in a lot of big cities, um, you're not supposed to, well, it depends. Um, in some cities, you're not supposed to drink the water. So um, if you can't drink the water from the faucet or the tap in your room, then you have to buy some. And if the hotel had water and then couldn't replace it, that's not very good. Okay. So, all right. Any questions before we move on? No? No. Here I Nothing go. About, I feel sorry about this person's bad experience. Yeah, well, it happens, doesn't it? I mean, we all go through really great things while traveling, and we have some bad experiences, too. I think that's just quite common. So, All right. So this speaker was a woman who knew. Um, and what was the woman's job? Was she a creative writer, travel writer, or a modern-day writer? Travel writer. Okay, does everyone else agree or not? Yes. Agree. Bob? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, number two, where did she have to stop over on one of her flights? London, Paris, or Milan? London. 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 Yes. <laughs> good, London is correct. How much was her return flight to Amsterdam? 100 euros, more than 100 euros, or less than 100 euros? Three hours. Um, number three. How much? Does more, it than, more than a hundred euros. Okay. Did we forget about this? Um, can Not you? Not many. No, we're we're in this this one. Number three. Oh, uh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so the, the return flight to Amsterdam. 
Mm. How much was it? Can you remember? Mm, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we're going back up. And, and how much did it cost? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's in this paragraph. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's slightly more difficult to remember. I managed to get my hands on a cheap return ticket to Amsterdam for oh, less than a hundred. Oh, less. Oh. So, that's okay. It's a good question. I see my memory. Yes. So less than a hundred euros. Okay. So how many more hours was the journey to Rome? A couple hours, not many, or three hours? It's three hours. Okay, who else? Well, do we agree or disagree with three hours? <laughs> Ken, do you remember? No. Bob, do you remember? <laughs> not many, not many. This is third uh, flight. All right, oh, let me see if we can find this here. Um, did it, did it stop over in London. I had a stopover. Oh, here it is. I had a stopover in London before reaching Rome, which added an extra three hours. So, three hours is the correct answer. I, see. <laughs> I won. <laughs> yes, you won that one. Very good. Extra point. Fantastic. Okay, so in which city, as uh, wait, in which city? As the food of a, okay has this is going to be has the food of a better quality okay Rome Amsterdam or they were both the same Rome Rome <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, in unison everybody at the same time okay good and how long uh, were her breaks so there's an extra e here we don't need how long were her breaks. A weekend, three days, or four days? Mm, let me see. Sounds like Ken doesn't remember. <laughs> Bob is also very quiet. <laughs> All right, that means we're going back up. This should be on the first page again. Weird. I'm not actually sure if it says. Mm. It, maybe not, men not mentioned. I don't think it mentions it because my last was about two city breaks. Right. I had books and I thought it was going to be an interesting to write a comparison piece. So in this case, I don't think this person actually says it. It just says um a week later the second one to amsterdam so we really don't know the only mm. clue that we do have in my opinion is it says on the second day in rome so we know mm -hmm. that there's at least two days but it doesn't mm. um really tell us um, oh wait wait I spent my three days freezing cold in Amsterdam. Ah, that is the I see. Oh. Ah, three days. Uh, <laughs> and I hear I was like, hmm. Well, this one confused me too. I didn't know this one off the top of my head, which means in the exact moment. So three days. All right. And I think, yes. So what did the hotel in Rome run out of? Water, bottle of water, towels. Bottle, bottle of water. water. That is correct. And eight, what did she say about coffee in Rome? It was better than in Amsterdam. She doesn't like coffee. It was cheaper than in Amsterdam. Better than in Amsterdam. Okay, does everyone else agree? Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheaper than in Amsterdam. The opposite. Huh? I'm confused. So we've he, mentioned, he mentioned about cappuccino. Maybe I think yeah, it's better in 
Damn, I'm scared. Um. All right, Bob. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> After that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we need to go back up. But Bob, what do you think? Do you have any? Uh, it's a zipper then. Amsterdam. All right, Masako. What do you think? I think it was better and cheaper. See, I think the same thing. Um, coffee in Central Room, definitely much cheaper than in Amsterdam. So the one that says they don't like Italian coffee is incorrect. Um, and that's, so it's better and cheaper, right? That's what I think. Um, so it's definitely cheaper. And yeah, it was definitely more, yeah. So I think there's actually two correct answers for this one. It was better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was a All right, that's what's happening here. But uh, you know, if it is Irish test or something, we need to choose the best option. I would say cheaper then. Okay, got it. I mean, uh, right? One moment. So I found out the average price for coffee for a nice coffee in central Rome is definitely much cheaper than in Amsterdam, and I really do like Italian coffee. And that's it. So I would say cheaper. Uh, okay. I mean, it was. Why, why do you, uh, did, did you choose cheaper? Because it says it here more directly. Mm. So that was at least one thing I liked more. So they mm. liked the, she liked the coffee more as well. Um, mm. That and the weather, of course. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Right? I mean, cheaper makes more sense because I like Italian coffee is the opinion. Mm -hmm. And it says it's a nice coffee in central Rome. Mm. I mean, I guess the other one isn't truly mentioned, you know, the, about the coffee in Amsterdam. She's just saying that um, she likes Italian coffee in general. There's not, not a comparison there. And um, she definitely says it was cheaper than in Amsterdam. So that's why I would say cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? What so I guess cheaper. Would be, mm -hmm. Because she okay. doesn't mention how she feels about the coffee in Amsterdam, but just that the coffee in Rome was nice. Mm -hmm. And she likes Italian coffee in general. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's complicated. Osaka, what do you think about that? <laughs> Bob, do you agree with cheaper or do you prefer better? The cheaper. Okay. Fair, but we know it's we know it's she doesn't like coffee. That's that's not correct. So perfect. Um okay. So with the little time that we have less uh, left, sorry. Um we can answer some of these questions, okay? So have any of you ever been to Italy? And did you like it? Anyone in Italy? Oh. I've been to Italy. You've been, three, been to Italy three times? Uh, I've been to Italy only once. Only one time, okay. And did you like yeah. it? Yes, I, I, like, I stayed in Roma and Milan and Firenze. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Bob, have you ever been to Italy? Oh, uh, yes, many times. Because uh, of the cruises, right? Yes, cruise around Italy uh, from the Civitavecchia uh, to <clears throat> Civitavecchia is port for the Roma. The next day we was on in the Roma uh, two days. Uh, also this the Napoli. Uh, um, Sardinia, Sardinia, and what's and few little days, few uh, small ports. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you've been to Italy a lot. Uh, Livorno is um, with the Marco, Marco member of on the in Tenga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the Livorno. Yes, he was in the Livorno. And before 10 or more years, I was in Italy also 
uh, where it's uh, tr trust, Trieste, and more, the more <laughs> city. <laughs> It right. is very, uh, very near uh, Croatia and Serbia. Uh, okay, okay. Opposite, opposite country. Perfect. Yes. Good. Well, Ken, what about you? Have you been to Italy? No, I've never been to Italy, but I've, I've met some Italian people. Well, that's close. I've never been to Italy either. Um, and it's quite surprising since I travel a lot. But no, I've never been to Italy. And... Yes, we do know some uh, Italians, at least from Entenga as well, so. All right. Perfect. Let's talk about Amsterdam. I've been to Amsterdam twice. I liked it. Um, no complaints. It was interesting, except the bikes are dangerous to me. Um, bikes have the preference. First, for um, transportation, let's say, first it's bikes. Then I think it's pedestrians, so those that are walking, and then cars, and then trams. Well, trams really have the right of way, I think, but it's dangerous. Those bikes are scary if you're if it's not normal. <laughs> so, anyone else has Amsterdam? Bob, have you been to Amsterdam? Yes. How many times? Uh, my father worked in Amsterdam before many, many years ago, like uh, 30 years ago. Okay. And when I was very, very young, like uh, five, six, seven years old, I was in Amsterdam. Uh, after, uh, before three years, uh, when I transferred to second ship on the way company, I was in the Amsterdam on the airport. Okay. And one time, yes, we are cruise. <laughs> cruise of yeah. course. Uh, yes, the port in Amsterdam is oh, very uh, important. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Ken or Masako, have you have either of you been to Amsterdam? Yeah, I've been to Amsterdam, but only for transit. But the airport was so huge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep, there's a lot of connecting flights through there as well. Yes, I got lost the last time I went with my husband a couple years ago. I think actually it was, I think two years ago, like today, I was there. Um, it was, we got lost. We got there late and we got lost in the airport. So, yeah. yes, it's big. Actually, I have a terrible sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> it was scary for me. I can understand. I'm 50-50. It depends on the day and the moment um, and if I'm concentrating or not. So I can agree. Ken, what about you? Mm, no, I've never been there. But uh, the other day, I watched uh, ordinary people broadcasting from the, the Amsterdam, you know, hanging around Amsterdam with camera. And, nice. Yeah. So I, I, know, yeah, I watched uh, kind of street of, of Amsterdam. Uh, the other day on the oh, net that's as close as you can get that's fine well um we actually are out of time now so we'll have to answer these other questions a different time okay um and it's time to say goodbye so the class went great thanks for participating i'm hoping you learned some new words um and expressions and wednesday i need to talk about wednesday what are we doing on wednesday Learning how to hire the right person, so another business class, okay? And that's going to be it for now. Um, Thomas will put up more classes as needed this week, okay? Um, just because I think for the rest of March we'll use this platform, but then probably in April we will change, all right? And I'm sure he will put things on Facebook as well. Okay. So with that... We're finished, and I'm going to go eat lunch. I made some asparagus soup yesterday. I'm having for lunch today, so I'm pretty excited. Um, and that's it. So thanks for coming. Um, I really enjoyed the class, and I like to ask you questions and things like that. So perfect. So enjoy the rest of your days. It's sunny outside here, but it's cold inside. So um, I hope you have good weather wherever you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, okay. good. Well, we'll see you on yeah. Wednesday then, okay? Everyone have a great have a great week until then, okay?
Okay, you too. All right, bye. thanks. Bye. 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 bye.